Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for March. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this is for the month of March. So this is being recorded in February. It may resonate now, but there's a good chance it may not. Check back in March. Again, I mean, this may not even be your reading because I connect with whoever I am meant to connect with at this time. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and we're going to get one of these. Remember, this is kind of like a perhaps kind of thing, okay? What do we got for Leo? The Empress. Ooh. So we got a birth of a new life here. Something brand new. Abundance. I mean, the Empress is abundant in every way. So if you are the female, this is the energy that you are embodying right now. If you are the male, this is who you may have your eye on. You may have your eye on an empress. This could be a Taurus or a Libra. It could be any other woman as well. Whoever this woman is, she's abundant. And she doesn't settle. And she knows her worth. Opportunities chase her. She, she gives birth to new things easily. But she knows that she has to go through pain. So this empress is very experienced, okay? She has a lot of life experience behind her back. You guys could be receiving some sort of miracle. I don't know what this is, but there's like there's, there could be a miracle here, a blessing. You know, some of you could be getting pregnant. Um, some of you could be giving birth. Some of you uh, could be giving birth to a brand new life, whether it's your new life or a new life, you know, holding on to a new life, you know, a, a baby. But it looks to me like you guys are giving birth to a new beginning period, a new life. What do we got for Leo? Oh, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> you got to deal with a uh, little bit of stormy weather, a little bit of pain perhaps, before you can get this miracle. And that is the way it goes. The Empress gives birth. She has to go through some contractions to get that blessing. So, you know... <laughs> You know, you got to go through the storm to get the blessing, okay? So be prepared. It looks like, you know, something may happen that forces you to start over or forces you to go down a new road or who knows. Maybe a storm is coming to clear your path so that you can have this new life, whatever it is. Beware. <laughs> Leo, what do we got for Leo for the month of March? Storm is a brewing, but it's going to clear your path. And, and bring you something, bring you a blessing. Okay, there's a blessing in disguise. That's what this is. What do we got for Leo? Dear God, angel, spirits, and universe for the month of March. This is a preview of what's to come. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I don't. I gotta just listen. Oh. Oh. Yeah. These are the same thing. Okay. And maybe you do need to slow down. Maybe you're moving too fast. And, you know, sometimes when you move too fast, you know, you can get yourself into trouble. It looks to me like some, there's going to be some sort of devastation here. Maybe somebody's going to get thrown out. <laughs> now, this is a blessing in disguise. You absolutely have some sort of upheaval that comes about that is coming to clear your path. This is cleansing, okay? Okay. Something is going to be cleared out of the way. 
something is not stable. You may be in a false relationship. Maybe maybe you're in a false contract. Okay? Maybe you are. This is a false foundation. Okay? It's a false foundation. It is. It's something that isn't stable. It's not solid. It's about to break down, whatever it is. There could be a false contract here that somebody is involved in and it needs to be washed away. It does. It does. And perhaps, you know, you know, this guy's naked. So I'm wondering if there's been some cheating for some of you. That could be the case. I'm not sure. Um, whenever I see a naked person like this, it does make me think of, you know, adultery. So beware. Beware. I feel like... Um, Somebody is going to get a rude awakening. Somebody's going to go through some sort of um, major disruption. This is happening. It is happening because you have to, it's time to begin again. It's time to have this new life, whatever it is. Somebody could be getting thrown out or somebody could be moving out of a home. They've been reluctant to move on, but perhaps maybe for some of you there's been some adultery or there's been some cheating or something and the shit is about to hit the fan. You know, that won't resonate with all of you, maybe just a few, but it looks to me like somebody's been staying in a un harmonious situation they've been staying in a situation that's kind of like a lie it's kind of false and it's just like you know the this is a universe card the universe sees the universe sees that you know they see all the universe sees all the universe sees all falseness you can't hide that shit anyway Looks like somebody is going to be giving up, okay? No more desire, no more ambition, no more drive. I've lost my focus. I've lost my concentration. I don't have any desire to stay in this troublesome situation anymore. So perhaps there, there even could be a fight. There could be something. There, something is going to happen that may get somebody thrown out or may get, you know, something's going to crumble. Something is going to crumble because there's no more spark. There's no more spark. There's no more fire, right? It's like the fire is being put out and it's time to live again. It's time for this new life. Golden opportunity here. We got a new, bigger, better opportunity and the universe sees that. Universe sees that there is an opportunity for something better, something bigger, something more solid, something more stable. And perhaps you have been reluctant to move on. You've been reluctant to see a new approach. But all the while, you haven't been making the move. You know, the universe has been watching. They've been seeing the whole thing. They've been seeing the desire, the drive, the ambition, you know, just dissipate. It's like somebody has lost their passion for a situation. There's no more desire to even be there. And I feel like, you know, it's like, I, it's time. It's time for me to find my strength. It's time for me to find my courage. It's time for me to find that force within me to, you know, take a new adventure, got to take a new approach here after being stuck. And maybe, maybe you're forced to, because this is, this is universal force. It is. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or another Leo, um, Aries, or Sagittarius. You could be dealing with anybody, so don't hold it to that. Um, it looks to me like you have a better opportunity, and the universe sees that. The universe knows that you do. Perhaps you've been holding on to some false contract. And you got a better opportunity. They're trying, and it's like, this is a gift. It really is. It's a gift. But you guys have been stuck. You have been stuck. You know, you're going to have to face some struggle. This this is face you are. There's going to there's a struggle, there's a storm coming, okay? You got to look at something from a new perspective. It's time. It's time to let go. It's time to face this struggle and go after your better opportunity. Slow and steady wins the race. It's time to accept responsibility. It's time to be practical. 
Um, it's time to make new plans and take one step at a time. And maybe that's what you're doing. One step at a time. I see that you are probably eager to, you know, blossom. You know, it's like you have this fire within you. But the only way that you can let this fire burn is to give up on this false foundation I and mean, perhaps you're in the, staying here because of stability maybe it's stable maybe it's financially stable maybe there's some sort of asset involved that is keeping you stuck right but it's time to walk away so you're, somebody's holding on to an emotional dissatisfying situation there's no emotional contentment there it's it's just like there's there's too much Sadness. I can't. I don't even want to. I don't even want to face it anymore. I don't. I don't want to hold on to this anymore. It's time for me to go. I think the time is now. The time is now for somebody to turn their back on this emotional, dissatisfying uh, situation that they have held on to. But I think the the thing, the reason that they're staying is because of the stability. You know, maybe because of the social aspect of it as well maybe they're worried about because there's this is very focused on social it's like worried about what the what the joneses are going to think what everybody else is going to think maybe they're worried about what their parents are going to think whatever you know it's it's not about that it's about you getting the abundance that you deserve it's about you following your passion. It's about you relighting that, relighting that fire within and being practical and being responsible. Loyalty. It's about doing the right thing, being loyal to yourself. This is loyalty. Be loyal to yourself. In order to be loyal to yourself, you're going to have to walk away from something that no longer emotionally fulfills you. It doesn't fulfill you emotionally, whatever it is. There could be some jealousy. There could be some possessiveness here. That's getting in the way. Got to change your mentality right here. You got to change your thoughts. You need to change. look at things from a new perspective. Slow and steady wins the race. You know, sometimes you remember, didn't we start this out with going in a hurry? Slow down. <laughs> oh, yes. Those are the words that came out. Without any cards, remember? Slow down. Speeding gets you in trouble. Think about that. Whenever you speed, when you put that pedal to the metal, what happens? You get in trouble. Either you get in an accident or the cop pulls you over. Who, you don't even know. Slow down, please. I don't know where that message is coming from, but speeding is going to get you in trouble. These fell out. Slow down, son of a bitch. Okay? I can't make this shit up. Very fast movement. Slow down. The Knight of Swords reversed. Upright, hasty, fast movement. Moving way too fast. Gonna get his ass in trouble. Slow down. You're being unrealistic. Slow down. I understand that you want something right now, but it takes time. It takes time. Please. Invest your time and energy in making plans. But take the time to let things go with the flow. I mean, don't don't try to rush it because, like I said, if you rush it, if you speed, there's going to be an accident. Do you hear me? Somebody's being unrealistic. It's like... 
they're really dissatisfied where they're where they're at and they want to move so fast they want this new life you know they want this new beginning they want to they want abundance they want happiness they want the whole nine yards but yes it takes time you got to be responsible you got to be practical I understand that you may, might want to get out of a situation or you might want this soulmate that, you know, it's a soulmate connection. Maybe you want this soulmate. You want this soulmate. And the thing is, is everything happens in divine timing. Everything happens when you take time to create you know, you have to create. It takes time. You have to, I mean, I mean, think about this. The empress gives birth. It takes nine to ten months to give birth. It takes time. It takes time. So I feel like you guys are wanting something to happen, like, overnight. No. Slow down. You are going to get a blessing. You are. But remember, to get that blessing, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take nurturing. You gotta feed yourself. I mean, you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta go. You gotta go through all the motions. You gotta go to, you know. You gotta do all the things that are involved with having this new life to get to this new life to make sure it's gonna be successful. To make sure it's gonna live right. To make sure it's going to last. To make sure it's going to be healthy. You gotta go through each little step, you know, to get there. So I think for March, you guys are very anxious to start your new life. And perhaps you're trying to move too fast and it's going to cause some sort of upheaval accident. Perhaps you might make an accident that, you know, maybe it can't be fixed. I mean, you can, usually you can't fix a, once this tower crashes. I mean, you got to rebuild again. You do from the ground up. So I really feel like you guys need to slow down, slow down. I understand that you probably want to walk away from a situation that isn't healthy for you, but and in, in, in right into, you know, a new partnership, but it, maybe it's not time. Three more cards. Yeah, you guys want it now. I want it now. You know, this is it's 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 time to break free. This is breaking free, liberation. It's like the storm is almost over. It is almost over. But you got to I mean the two of swords reversed. It's like this is I want it suddenly. You I mean there's a delay here. There is a delay. And this, these are both seeing the truth. I mean, you got to, perhaps there's some truth that needs to come out. Perhaps there's some sort of um, communication that needs to be said so that you can move on. Maybe so there's something that has been hidden. Maybe somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Maybe the truth needs to come out so that the path can be cleared. Whatever this is, I don't know. But it's like something has been hidden and it needs to come out so that this movement can happen right now you are stuck and I think there's some secrets I do I think there's some secrets that need to be revealed the truth needs to be spoken but that doesn't mean that you need to be hasty I see hasty this is very hasty okay And you may be indecisive, perhaps you're indecisive as to if you want to tell the truth, because if you do, you you know, there, there may be some pain involved with that. I think that I see worry, I see fears, I see anxiety here with telling the truth. Whether it's you or the other person, somebody is very anxious about it. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of fear. 
But the reality, this is reality. The reality is, is that the truth, whatever this truth is, because this is telling the truth, it is. Whatever the truth is, it needs to come out so that you can have your new life, whatever it is. This is also a reality check. It's a reality check about slowing down. You know, like I said about speeding. If you speed into something, you are there's going to be an accident because you're being too impulsive. Too quick. You need to break free from that mentality that everything needs to happen overnight or quickly. You need to be cautious. Be cautious. One more card. Oh my God. One more card. You. I mean, what can I say? You need to slow down. Don't let your doubts get in the way because somebody isn't rushing. Don't let your pride and ego get hurt because people aren't doing what you want them to do right now. Don't allow yourself to Oh, well, I'm hearing weakness. Weakness. Hold restrain yourself. Restrain yourself. And this is lack of restraint. Restrain yourself from acting out of pride and ego. And that's what this is. And I know that you guys don't want to hear that. And nobody does. And I have to tell you that every single sign, every single person in this world has pride and ego. So I'm not pointing the finger at you. But I know you guys in particular, in particular do not like to hear about your pride and ego. I mean, this is what I do for a living. And I get feedback from the Leos. You you mention pride and ego to, to, to the Leo and it's a trigger. Of course it is. I mean, you think about a lion, it's about pride, okay? So anyway, it is a trigger. It's a trigger. Don't let your pride and ego get in the way. If somebody isn't responding or they aren't doing what you want to do and you get upset, that's your ego. You feel rejected. Restrain yourself. Be strong enough to restrain yourself. Act with tact. Act with grace. Master your emotions. This in reverse, you're not mastering your emotions at all. Be gentle on yourself. Be gentle on others. All in time. All in good time. I have to tell you that you guys do have a new life coming. But before you get to this new life, you're going to have to take small steps. And allow things to unfold as they should. The universe is watching. They see everything that's going on. Maybe your life lesson for this situation, maybe one of your life lessons is patience. There's lack of patience here. Be patient. Let's get one of these cards. This card shouldn't be in here. One of these for Leo. One card for Leo. You got a new life coming. You do. Remember, it takes at nine to ten months for this to happen. In the meantime, you gotta you gotta grow that new life. Make sure you're eating healthy. 
Make sure you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. Make sure you're financially stable. Get ready for this new life right now. Because when it comes, you're, you're going to need to be ready. Get prepared. Get prepared. That was a jumper. I think that's your card. Beautiful. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Yes. Yes. Be prepared for some sort of upheaval if you don't slow down. Perhaps it's too late. I mean, the universe, I mean, it looks like this is already going to happen. But then again, free will plays a part in every single reading. You can change this. Maybe you can't. I don't know. The tower is, you know, a universal, it's fate, okay? There's a fated event that is going to happen, and I think it's going to happen because somebody um, is speeding. And that can happen many different ways. You better slow down. And I'm not trying to tell you in a mean way. Be cautious. Speeding gets you in trouble. 